Yes. So what I wanted to do, as I said, is just take this eagle and uh, go and go and fly around an extraction zone for a little bit. Absolutely love the, uh, the eagle. Uh, okay, so my plan is to uh, basically my plan is to ooh, is to go and um, do some bounty hunting. Um, my first first point of arrival. I mean, I actually don't think that there's any. The, the, the worrying part is it's not looking like there is any resource extraction sites, um, at least not on my scanner. So let's see, let's see if I have any better luck. Um, oh no, sorry, I'm t talking completely out of my bottom. Uh, there are resource extraction sites, uh, just not many of them. Uh, so I'm not going to go to the hazardous because it can't summon an eagle. I mean. What do you expect? Um, I'm going to go to the standard extraction site and see how we fare. And I've, what I've done is I've set up, as you can see, uh, multi cannon on the secondary trigger, uh, pulse, pulse lasers on the, the primary. So eventually I'll just end up firing them both at the same time. Uh, my, my plan is to sort of keep, um, drop the shields, and then attack with everything. It saves a little bit of ammo. Oh, since I'm since I am bounty hunting, let's see, <laughs> let's uh, try our metal, shall we? Threat two. Uh, this might be a little bit too much for a lone eagle. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. The the the, the advantage of the eagle is its maneuverability. Um, it's not. Exactly the, the toughest ship. Um, like I say, very, very, very fun to fly. All right, so we have ooh, anaconda. All right, not going to touch that one. Internal security. Oh, actually, yeah. All right. This is this is going to be good. All right, so this guy is worth. Oh, it's not worth much. This guy's worth more. I will attack this guy. So, I almost forgot that I have had fixed weapons rather than gimbals. She's just going to fire everything I've got because... He's got a fighter. That's rubbish. Oh 
no. Uh, this is gonna be a trouble. Is that they are very small and very, very, very slippery. And for a small ship like the Eagle, uh, ignoring a fighter is not really a good idea. Certainly don't last this long when I'm having a fight to myself. That's the problem with ignoring a fighter. Oh yeah, see? That's what I'm saying. You ignore a fighter <laughs> and you get destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Alright. <laughs> oh dear. That was really pathetic. Oh well. Right. Okay, so, as it says, my ship has been destroyed, thus I shall go and roll the dice again, see if uh, Nal survives. Okay, be right back. Okay, so here is the table, um, and I will um, go through this table as I did before. Um, yes, okay, so, I was in a spacecraft, um, I was near a populated planet. Um, uh, yes, no, no, sorry, uh, not a populated planet. It was a, it was a, within a populated system, but within planets. Um, uh, location, I think, God, uh, I don't know, it's probably within Federation of these worlds. I'm not sure about that one. Um, circumstances. So I... No, not applicable. Combat. So number of enemy pilots in the battle was uh, two, including the fighter, and the number of police was three. There was a backup eagle which appeared. 
uh, conflict zone is not applicable. I have a, a class A life support. Um, I was flying solo and I had a zero bounty at the time. So let's see what happened. Brilliant! I <laughs> made it again. Niles lives on. Great. Okay, so <laughs> uh, there we go. After a rather embarrassing um, death, <laughs> um, it, it, it just goes to show basically how dangerous those fighters can be um, and how important it is with a small ship uh, such as the one I'm flying. Um, it is to, to pick your battles uh, very carefully. So, um, with that said, I shall um, go back out there, get stuck in, see if I can make back the rebuy on this ship, which was about 71,000. If I can end the day uh, with a profit, oh no, 82, why did it only say 70, okay, well, whatever, 82. Um, if I can, if I can make at least a, a profit um, on this particular Venture, that would be brilliant. So I think it was planet. Which. Where am I? Oh. Oop. Oh, that keeps happening. Uh, I think it was number three, which I. Alright, so. Seven. Oh. Uh, always the sense of scale gets me. Um, and like I say, especially in VR, uh, when you start to get closer and closer to these uh, rings. And uh, they start out smooth, and then they, uh, uh, you know, go into this kind of banded structure, um, and then get cloudy as you get closer, and then eventually start to um, appear like they've got they're made out of rocks, which of course they are, or ice in this case, I think. I've got to pick my fights very carefully and one way of picking my fights carefully is um, basically trailing the police. Um, many people might say that's a kind of chicken's way out, but hey ho, um, I am going to Gonna live by the philosophy right now of survive to survive is to win. Um, okay. Uh, oh, there we go. What's happening over here? Okay, now these people are attacking an asp. Um, oh, it's wanted though. That's interesting. How much for? Oh, yeah, 52. I'll go for it. I'll have to have a piece of that action.
to be sort of wanting my my bacon. Um, so I'm going to try and avoid getting hit too much. Try and get behind him if I can. solution while nice oh very good very good so this is where you get some nice materials and maybe I will I will get some of those while I recharge my shields Though my shield should not take too long to uh, recharge. <laughs> I'm not floating. In, I'm not floating in Imperial Legal for a while, <laughs> and the. Uh, the engine sound is pretty uh, is pretty beefy actually in VR. Uh, the sound quality on on my headset, uh, the on the Rift uh, ear earphones is actually not too bad, and it's uh, it's pretty bassy. Uh, anyway, let's see. Adders are normally troublemakers. Oh, so we got internal service and okay, so we've got the police and okay, this is. Police. That's the police. Right, so let's get in on, on this guy. He's a part of a... Oh no, he's not. I was actually going to say that he looks like he's part of a, uh, a wing, but... You can see how terrible I am at uh, hitting anybody with my multi-cannons. Maybe I should have really gone with... Um, maybe I should have not gone with fixed for my multi cannon. <laughs> Alright. Again, Adder. Um, Adder is a popular one amongst NPC pirates. I'm not totally sure why. But it is. Yep. For, the, for exactly that reason, is that it's softer than it, it's softer than an eagle. I mean, in realistic terms, I know I got, I died pretty quick um, when uh, missed opportunity. I know I died pretty fast and in, 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 in and and in an embarrassing manner uh, when I got killed a few moments ago. Um, the difference is, is that. If I was in an adder, it would have just folded. It's like a tin can. Okay, so these guys are mining. They're not doing any... So I'm not causing any problems for anybody. I'm just looking around. Uh, pretty sure that eagle is a cover. It's not a haunted ship. Yeah, that's right. It's a
Right, let's head back into the middle of the extraction zone. a minor so far out and it's heading towards oh okay it's off the sensors but I can still see the shadow it's another asp scout it's definitely a minor oh no this is a that ship. Now, I've got to be careful with this. The Asp Scout is very maneuverable. It's also twice as armed as I am. Well, not really. It's like two and two. Uh, so. Ooh. It's got frag cannons on it, though. Haha, <laughs> okay, that's good. I will see if I can affect any change. Sorry. Let me just let me just hurt this ship. Hey, no, 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 no! Come on. All oh, right, fine. Yeah. Okay. That's irritating. That's the normal. That's the normal um, irritation. Um, so let's. Oh, yeah, let's let's go back in for the kill. See if I can make a, a hit and run. Uh, since these two guys are fighting still, and then I'm gonna leap. Oh no! No 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 no! I need to get out of here. Same old irritation. Um, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Ah, that is the. That's the same. That's the same old annoyance, basically, that, that happens occasionally where you you stray, you have stray fire, um, and you know, it's my own fault. I did actually did actually have stray fire. So let me quickly have a quick look, um, quickly have a look around the system and see if I can actually pay off anywhere. Uh, probably not. Yeah, no. Because I basically need a uh, broker and I don't think that there will be one. So all of this is going to be right. Okay, that's that's fine. So what I will do 
is I will, on the galaxy map, I will try and find my nearest friendly broker, uh, government, sorry, uh, services. So, I'm not sure about anybody else, but I've had a problem with these, and they don't really work, pinched off factors. So, for example, I know for a fact that, oh yeah, Lambda 2 does actually have a factors agent, and it did work this time. It's weird. I have this problem. Um, wow. All right. Oh yeah, that's because I have a terrible frame shift drive. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, right. So what I'm going to do then is basically go to a um, anarchy system. If there's any nearby. Oh, yes, there is. Brilliant. So I'll go to this anarchy system. Is it anarchy? Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Go to this anarchy system, and I will hopefully be able to find a factors agent at one of these stations. Um, it's a broken network. Uh, it's worth a try. Black market. Yeah, it's worth it. That's one of those worth a try. You might not have it, but because uh, I, I can't remember if it's actually called the factors agent on on this. Um, we will see. Typically, though, it, they are in uh, anarchy systems. Oh, oh, uh, rubbish. Two jumps. Frame shift drive charging. I should definitely get rid of my uh, my my fixed multi cannon. I'm not very effect effective with it. Um, it's probably because I'm just rubbish. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I can typically hit more often with the gimbal. So uh, yeah, so that's going to be the the poster child, I think. The other thing I could do is, as I say, go for something extreme like missiles or like a railgun or something like that. Uh, that way I'm doing a lot of damage, but it's selective. My issue with them is that obviously missiles, they hit all the time and they're really good for crippling ships. Um, but in a res site scenario, they're not really the greatest thing to use, mainly because you uh, you just drain your ammo straight away. Um, and then and then once you've, you know, once you've drained your ammo, you you basically, yeah, your DPS is terrible. Um, and my other thing with uh, railguns is just that I can't hit anything with them. <laughs> they, uh, they they require a good bit of practice, and uh, I have not put them into practice. So. Sorry. Contact 
Uh, so I can redeem that. Oh, I ne did nearly make back my... Uh, uh, I did, actually. Yep, and let's go back out. So what I'll do is I will essentially get back to the uh, get back to our system where we were doing most of our pew pew, which I can't see anymore because I've turned everything off. Um, yeah, so we'll do most of my most of our go back to. No. Oh. oh, sorry, government. Yes, I wanted. Uh, Economy. Yeah, we'll go back to our LTT system. Um, yeah, right, so we'll go back to the system uh, where we, from which we came, and I will probably call it a day. shame that uh, I had to leave and come back um, but uh, you know it's, it's the new camp it's a new system um, that has always been a crime uh, stray stray fire it's always been a crime um, and people complain about it all the time but you know it's like think of it like if you're driving if you were driving and you just randomly smashed your car into another uh, scrapes another passing car you know, you can't just sit there and say, oh, well, you know, I, I didn't mean to, obviously. Um, <laughs> so, therefore, I, I don't have to pay or don't have to be responsible. Uh, I I hit that ship, um, simple as, and it was on hull as well. So, it's only right that I get uh, slapped with a naughty boy, naughty boy flag. Uh, which is, to me, that's fine, that's fair, whatever. All right, well, I'm lying. I'm going to go straight back into the extraction site and uh, might fight for a little bit and then log off in there. Let's see what we can do. Hello, boys. I'm back. Uh, two internal security ships. Yep, most definitely. And what else we got going on? We've got mining type 7. It's likely that he is in a wing. Nope, he's not. And oh, Diamondback Explorer mining as well. Oh, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Dropship. This is most definitely a pirate. Mm-hmm, there we go. I cannot, however, take on that ship. There is no way. There's no way I can take that on. I would like to get in on that bounty, though. Yeah. So. What else is happening? Is there any excitement? I mean, not really. Oh, yeah, okay. They're on that ship now, so let's go in.
straightforward. Oh, Fertile Lance, this is most definitely a Bounty Hunter or a Pirate. Let's have a quick look. Yep, it's a pirate, that's for sure. Um, so, what else, are, what else are these guys doing over here? Let's have a quick look, lean forward. Can't see any. Okay, they might be all going in for the same ship that I've locked onto. Um, yeah, uh, no, no, they're going elsewhere. Alright. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, the thing about the hard points on the eagle is very similar to the cobra in that the two hard points on the bottom um, don't always want to fire uh, when you're aiming with the hard point on the top. But that's okay. close to death. 170,000 though, that's pretty good. Anaconda, uh, I don't have a very good record of anacondas. <laughs> or against anacondas, shall we say. Um, though, we have, we have the help of the police. Yeah, let's, oh, let's get on that quick. This is what you call kill sniping. That was super cheeky. That was really cheap. <laughs> Sorry to anybody who uh, doesn't like that kind of thing, but you know. said on the comms, you fight a good fight. Where is this good fight happening? I don't see it. I do not see it. That note, I will. Flight assist off. Power down and lock out. <laughs> 